Hello and welcome to Burns Bible Stories for Kids. We do this each Friday morning at about 11 o'clock here on Facebook and YouTube. And we just share a Bible story. This is coming from the Easter storybook, Bible stories that show who Jesus is. And today we're talking about Jesus shows who is righteous. And this is coming from Luke chapter 18. Once Jesus wanted to teach people what it means to be righteous, he told a story about two very different men. One man was a Pharisee, the other man was a tax collector. Both men went to the temple to pray. It was time for the atonement service when a lamb was killed as a sacrifice for Israel's sins, bringing people closer to God and to each other once again. The Pharisee stood apart from everyone else because he didn't want an unclean person to touch him. He prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like the other men who sin, especially this tax collector. I obey your laws extra well, unlike other people. I fast two times every week, and I tithe from everything I own. This Pharisee was very proud of himself. He just knew that he was righteous because he followed the rules better than almost anyone. The tax collector also stood far off, but he was so sad about his sins that he beat his chest and didn't look up to heaven. He prayed, God, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. The tax collector knew that he had done bad things. He couldn't love God or others on his own. He knew that the lamb in the temple was dying for his sins. He knew he could never be righteous, able to love God, others, and all of creation on his own. Then Jesus said something surprising. This tax collector was made righteous, but the Pharisee was not. The Pharisee was too proud to ask for forgiveness. He thought he could be good enough all by himself. Jesus wants all of us to be righteous, but we can't do that on our own. We need him. One day, Jesus would become like the lamb in the temple. He would die in our place because of our sins. And when the lamb of God did that, he made people righteous, able to love God and each other and all of creation forever. Thank you again for joining us for Burns Bible Stories for Kids. We hope you like it or you share it or make a comment below. And then join us again next Friday morning, 11 o'clock right here on Facebook or on YouTube. We hope you have a great week.